Welcome to Ballhead of Metal Guys, and welcome back to another reaction and another reaction from Astriism. I checked out one single right before this, which was based on the anime. And this time around, I want to check out Church, specifically live in studio. You guys recommended it to me. Man, I really enjoyed the drummer, the guitarist, the, the bass player, just everything from them together. But how they showed their skills off and how good they are, it was done in such a good way. And it wasn't just for the sake of showing how good they are, it musically sounded really well. And I'm gonna see, be interested to see if there's any vocals in this particular one. From what I understand, there's not a lot of vocals from this band. But again, I'm coming in pretty open minded and just ready to see what this band really is. my god it's starting so strong so emotional so good and it's just this subtle build up to the to the lead guitar that kind of kicks in it's just phenomenal um you rarely see this kind of thing for sure i i'm i don't even have to pretend i don't have to convince myself because there's moments in time so there's certain bands i listen to and i know they're special but for some reason, they're just not connecting. I'm like trying to convince myself, like, come on, this is good, Joseph. Why don't you like this? What's going on here? And other times, it just immediately it hits you. And this is like, yeah. Oh, the bass. No, they're they're really good they're telling a story with the music uh there's no lyrics but it is taking you on a kind of like a journey you know it's not just riffs and melodies put together there's 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 a flow to everything that's going on the tone by the way for a live uh, stu in studio session great how it sounds it's awesome um and the thing about this particular song from a technical standpoint now again not an expert here in terms of playing guitar, I played only a little bit, but I, I have a general understanding that this is not the most complex thing you're going to see in the world, but the way it's stitched together, that you can clearly tell they are classically trained musicians, but they haven't lost their emotional edge. It's something I asked my one of my clients who is a professional musician about this idea, this, is every musician able to unlock their more emotional side? And he says, some people struggle and never do. It's something that a person either has or doesn't. They're just able to tune into. Uh, you can get as technical as you want. You can get as proficient as you want. But some people just never get that last part. Uh, and for me, this is one of the perfect examples where they are technically proficient, but they're also just 
on a different kind of emotional level. For me, it, it's hitting me on an emotional level. Oh my god. You know, and I always find it funny that songs that are just instrumentals, they're written structurally very different. There's not the traditional like chorus line because there's no lyrics and like a bridge line. It just kind of keeps flowing. And I, I found myself, no matter how good the music is, I tend not to listen to bands that are just instrumental. Because at some point in time, even if I don't dive deep into lyrics, I like the sonic sound of vocals, especially it's vocals that are speaking to me particularly, like uh, uh, Matt Barlow from Iced Earth or uh, Max Cavalera from Sepultura Days. Uh, there's certain lyrics that just add to the oomph of the music. And I do like the more sometimes structured style of songwriting because you almost start anticipating certain riffs to come back or... Uh, you, you almost start like you have this like, kind of flow of a song but that being said this is just from a music standpoint the way it's written i think i like this more than the other song even though the other song is a lot more technical uh because it's equally highlighting all three musicians in this particular video Awesome. Awesome. I know it's going to be surprising to a lot of people, but my still favorite is still the drummer. Uh, there's something about his energy that I really, really like and the way he plays. And um, But here, I think even more so than before, uh, the, you really get a nice highlight of all three musicians, really. Everything is in the service of the music. I think it's very important. It's not showy. Uh, there's some, some bands sometimes you listen to, it's like, oh, now I need to show you how crazy of a solo I can play. Whereas here, I think it all serves the music and the feeling that they're trying to create in this particular song, which I'm so on board with. Uh, I was reading at the bottom their name in Russian. I guess it was kind of featured on some kind of Russian channel. Uh, Totally deserved. You can hear their kind of, I don't know if it's blues or jazz, but you can hear their more traditional roots in their music and they've elevated to this thing that is now atriism. Um, I would love to hear now if they have a song with some kind of vocals. And if not, I'll check out other stuff because I need to show this to my dad. I need to show this to my brother because this is beyond just like heavy metal. This is just rock music, right? Because of the drums and the guitar and the bass. Guys, let me know what you think of it yourself, especially if it's your first time checking it out. And make sure to enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Keep it metal. Make sure to leave a comment. 
Leave a like. It really helps the algorithm of the channel. Peace out, guys.